What up, this your boy T Mizzle. Come back again with another video. Today's video is our first episode of our new subscriber achievement video series. Uh, in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you different photos and videos of player achievements that were submitted during the past week or so. Um, this is my way of giving back to you guys and thank you for all the support you've shown me on the channel in the past year and the continued support you guys continue to show me. first video of the new episode the subscriber achievement videos and if you would like to be featured on the next video please submit your entries to tmizzlesub at gmail.com do not send them to me on line chat um, line chat did cause me a little bit of a headache trying to get all the photos and videos over to my pc so again if you want to be in the next video please submit those to submit at tmizzlesub at gmail.com um, once you make your submission please include your in-game name and make sure you also show the stats the profile page of the character you're showing so we can see all the stats um, the ISO set and the obelisk as well um, it's it makes the it just makes your entry a lot more uh, valid and shows the achievement you've actually done okay uh, we don't really want to see an OP hero do something that's real, really simple um, but like I said just submit your profile page of your character your end game name and submit that at tmizzlesub at gmail.com all right so this is the first video so I did make a few errors guys and of course the editing is not professional but it's the best I could do with what I had um, as we continue to do this the videos will get better so I am looking for all your input in the comments below also please vote for which player in the particular video you think had the best achievement overall again vote for the player that you think had the best achievement overall or the one you think was most notable okay make sure you just leave your comment just just put the in game name um, match it up to the to the actual video down in the comment section and any other comments that you may have uh, regarding the video okay uh, enough me talking let's go ahead and jump into the first video of the subscriber achievement video and again these are all submissions from you guys and I want to thank you again for all the support you've given me now let's go ahead and jump into the video it's your boy T Mills of peace first up we have your boy Green Lantern who's showcasing Sharon Rogers and this first one is actually Shadowlands uh, Luke Cage which he won in seven seconds sorry I, w I wrote Infinity Thanos which was wrong and then next World Boss Invasion another win here he did his Extreme Alliance battle with his personal best with Sharon Rogers and last but not least this was actually an Infinity Thanos clear in 16 seconds not a Shadowlands so I did get those mixed up sorry about that and up next uh, we have a video actually in this video, we're going to be showcasing uh, Captain America Solo on Shadowlands Floor 2. And this is from your boy, Battles27. That's his uh, in-game name. So let's take a look at this Shadowlands Clear and to see exactly how he does it. For those of you guys that are watching this and maybe thinking this is a tier two Captain America, why is this an achievement? Listen, everyone don't have deep rosters and whatever you think achievement is for you, this is what it means. It's a personal achievement, which is all it needs to be. It doesn't have to be an achievement for everyone out there, but if you feel like this is something that you feel good about, then guess what? This is a great achievement. And I want to just tell Babas27, uh, nice job with your Captain America solo for the Shadowlands floor. Um, anytime you can get a solo is an achievement in my book, no matter if it's tier one or tier two, okay? So shout out again to Babas27 for the Captain America solo on Shadowlands floor two for the speed rumble. And just to make sure everybody know, the, the rumbles are actually harder to solo than the other um, relays and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind as well. All right. Nice job, bro. Next up is amazing score by your boy Madrid. That's all I'm going to say. This is a Sharon Rogers or obscene score. And that's a Sharon Rogers showcasing at 27 K energy. Um, here's more of her uh, uniform showing you the upgrades. Um, shout out to my man Major. Um, also coming in number one, rank one for clearing uh, Proxima stage th phase three and keeping the number one rank. So shout out to you, bro. 
Next up, we have another Sharon Rogers showcase. I think this is going to be. Um, and this is going to be an ultimate world boss clear for Proxima. And again, this is your boy Della. His end game name, in case you want to look him up. Again, this is a Sharon Rogers uh, clear for ultimate world boss. And again, this is only, I think, stage one for him. But again, man, great job on achieving this goal. Um, not everyone can clear it ultimate world boss stages at all so again great achievement and keep up the good work it also looks like uh, Dell is using the standard rotation uh, three cancel to the five then four uh, again, he's using the three, five, four, and it looks like he's throwing a possible one and two in there after um, those skills. So again, take note of that. He's using the three, five, four rotation for his um, ultimate world boss clear for Proxima. And uh, great job, bro. Again, great job. Awesome achievement. It looks like he's almost at full health as well. Great job, Sharon Rogers. For those that didn't know, you can do it with Sharon Rogers. She's actually a really beasty uh, character now. So take note, Ultimate World Boss Shadow, um, excuse me, Ultimate World Boss Clear from your boy, Della. And again, this is uh, stage one. Looked like he switched out here to Ancient One to possibly get some heals off. Um, his Sharon Rogers did take some damage there and looked like she uh, could use the heals from Ancient One. So um, I think that's the tactic he's using here. I could be wrong, but it looks like it to me. Just over one minute and Proxima is almost dead. Less than a minute to go here. Look at those heals. Did you see that? Ancient One just healed Sharon Rogers all the way back to almost full health, guys. Great job, Della, on the um, Ultimate World Boss Clear. Loved it. Outstanding job with 38 seconds to go. Outstanding job. And there you have it. Okay, guys. So we're going to take a look at his cards here. And there are his card stats. Just so you guys know, you don't have to need, you don't need an OP um, Sharon Rogers to do this. And let's take a look at those stats and we'll be all set with the uh, Della. Okay. So here it is right here. He wanted to show you guys the stats so you'll know it wasn't that OP. Okay. Awesome. It looks like we have more Shadowlands videos coming up here and um, I don't have Charles in game name I don't think it's an in game name but shout out to Charles Smith who submitted this this is a uh, Shadowlands floor 3 universal relay and of course as you can see he's going to do a solo here so shout out to um, Charles for submitting this again sorry I didn't get his in game name I did try to reach out to him to get it but um, didn't get it in time so again shout out to Charles Smith who submitted this video for us um, showing his universal relay clear with um, actually uh, hell hell yeah so awesome and just keep in mind here this is a tier one hella okay tier one hella that's it hella hell yeah tier one hell yeah here on Shadowlands floor three universal relay sorry about the lag here guys um, that's just between uh, the, me transferring the video and his uh, recording. It is a little bit laggy. Nevertheless, you can see that he did do the solo without a problem, okay? 
Again, shout out to Charles Smith for this one. Tier one, hell yeah. Like he's kind of cut it close here, guys. Her health is almost gone, really. And it's like Ronan is yet to go down. We um, have just under a minute and 50 seconds left in the Shadowlands floor here. And all he has to do now is take out Ronan for the clear. And Hela looks like she has, what, about a quarter of health left. This is going to be so close. I didn't really pay attention to the rotation, but it look, looks like he's using um, maybe uh, 3, 5, 4, 2, uh, that type of, uh, look, that's what it looks like, 3, 5, 4, 2, some type of rotation like that. Um, I didn't pay attention at the start, but that was pretty much it, and he actually got to clear. So shout out to your boy Charles Smith, who actually did clear that floor, and actually he submitted more than one video. He's actually going to clear four, four floors here. Again, this is Charles, and this is a tier one, tier one, can you believe it, a tier one mantis for floor four here. And this is Combat Rumble. For those that don't know, here it is right here, Charles Smith. Shadowlands Floor 4 Combat Rumble clear with the Tier 1 Mantis. Um, it is going to be a little bit laggy, guys, but just bear with us here. Um, we will be able to see the full display of his action. He's going straight off with the 3. So this is rotation 3-4. Three, 3-4-5. Four. Three, four, 2 1. So 3-4-5 2-1. Okay, looks like now he's just spam festing here. <laughs> Start off with three, four, five, one, two. And now I guess just keep that three going. And use whatever comes off cooldown is what he's using. Basically, whatever comes off cooldown, you go with, huh? All right. Shout out to Mantis for being able to do this. I had no clue myself, actually. Shout out to Charles for submitting this. Actually, Charles submitted about four or five different videos, but I only wanted to put two in this particular. This is the first video that we're doing with the uh, subscriber achievements. So thanks to Charles for submitting these. Um, we'll add the other videos to the second episode, okay? And there you have it. Charles has just soloed Floor 4 with a Tier 1 Mantis. Um, next, we have Coda with uh, Shadowlands Floor 2 Combat Rumble. And this is not a solo, if I remember correctly. Nope. He's actually using um, two particular characters. And just for those guys that don't know, which... I uh, didn't really look that hard, but is he going to use one of these or is he going to use both? Let's see how many. Let's see if he uses both characters here. Well, Lincoln Campbell right now is doing most of the work. Currently, we have Lincoln Campbell who's doing most of the work. Okay. He has yet to sub in Wiccan. But so far, we have Lincoln Campbell doing most. Well, I'll be dang. It was a solo. He actually did a solo on floor two with, with Lincoln Campbell. Wigan was just there as a backup. So nice job, Coda. Very nice job. And here's just showing us the stats on the characters. So let's take a look at those real quick. And uh, he didn't even use Wiccan, 
so not sure why we even wanted to see that but he did use Lincoln Campbell and I'm glad he's showing us this because he doesn't even have an obelisk on Lincoln Campbell can you believe that guys no obelisk and here are his cards and those are the stats and next up we have your boy um, Jamal 2423 who's showing his EAB score with uh, Agent Venom Beast Boy score of 318 for his personal best and those are his stats on his cards just to show you guys how he did it and that's it guys thanks a lot for watching and catch you on the next one Peace.